Hello, you're watching Apple X, and today let's talk about a recently started airing Chinese web and satellite television drama, 追光的日子 Ray of Light. This is a 30-episode contemporary drama that's being aired on the platform Youku Plus CCTV One Satellite Television. It is directed by Han Tian, Su Haoqi, written by Zhao Xiaying, led by Ren Min, Guo Jingfei. Wang Yuan. It was filmed in Huizhou in Guangdong Province from the end of 2021 to April 2022. Just looking at the poster, you know what the story is about. The worst doing class in a high school in their last year before they take the college exam. How the underdogs in the last year of their struggle in school turn the game around. Type of story. I have watched nine episodes at the point of making this video. Right now, I give it a 1.5 gold mine. I do hope the score will go up later. Although this drama does face a lot of challenges, this is the last year of high school drama focused on mainly three characters: a teacher played by Guo Jingfei, who was a teacher of high school three years prior to our story starting. Something happened to one of his students, making him losing his job type of situation and quit teaching. But three years later, something happens again. He goes back to teaching. He faces the challenges of getting rusty of teaching and not getting. Getting used to three years of development in teaching, also his past ghost, also getting trust from the bad student of the class and their parents. Then Ren Min plays a student who actually did pretty well in her. College exam had actually scored enough to get into a medical school, but due to a stupid action of her father's, lost that opportunity. She doesn't want to give up the dream of becoming a doctor, so she decided to redo the last year of high school. Ended up in this high school that wasn't her previous high school, and a new class, and the burden of doing it for the second time. Then the other main character Wang Yuan plays is also in this class. He is similar to Ren Min's role in terms of getting delayed one year. But it was for a personal family tragedy reason that he stopped his study leave of absence for a year, and now he needs to come back and then do the college exam. Then you're gonna see quite a few other high school students in this class as the second tier important roles and their personal stories. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna succeed pretty well at the end of the story when they take that exam, right? Otherwise, why you make this type of drama? It probably will remind you of another drama that Zhang Ruoyun led, and probably will come. Out later this year, that has very similar structure: a teacher and a failed class, an underdog winning type of story. Synopsis aside, now let's talk about what is worth watching about this drama first. Point number one: although it's a Youku drama, it's actually a very acceptable production quality contemporary drama that has zero romanticizing filter. It doesn't have the typical color grading of Youku dramas、uh, or skin smoothing or. Idolizing and romanticizing, it looks very realistic, slightly desaturated, a little bit dull, being very believable. Because honestly, if you look back in your life, for most of the Chinese people who've gone through last year of high school and the exam, the memory will be very, very. Bleak and gloomy and high pressured and probably nobody want to relive that. So I actually really appreciate that this drama picked a not so pretty look. For this drama to represent that difficult ear for everybody, it is also a original voice drama. Doesn't get dubbed, which makes it much more believable. It has very realistic representation of what the school looks like, what students wear, what their daily life is like, and nobody wears makeup as the high school kids. So overall, it's a heavy on realism, a little bit not like your cool looking drama. Number two, acting and casting. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. The thing that attracted me to this drama most is Guo Jingfei. Knowing that he is leading it as a teacher, I just want to see what his performance will look like. And so far, I'd say it pretty much fits exactly what I expect it will be. He and Ren Min probably has the most amount of screen time than the other characters. He plays that type of little people. Little character, ordinary person, so well. If you've watched his performance in If There's No Tomorrow, you know that he's a very capable actor. He can play almost any type of drama, serious, 
comedy, black comedy, period drama, contemporary drama, whatever it is, just bring it on and he will do it. And he's a very experienced actor that he knows how to use everything he has, his voice, his accent, his body. In this drama, he plays this teacher that almost immediately, you know that he's a good person and you trust him and you want him to succeed. And he also shoulders 90% of the comedy and he does it very, very well. So just to see his later performances and the development of his character, I'll stick to the end of the drama. I do believe later, not yet happening, there will be a couple of quite explosive moments. If it doesn't happen, it would not make sense for the scriptwriter to create this route. So waiting for that moment to happen. Then Ren Min, playing a high school student doing it last year for the second time for her university. She really suits contemporary high school characters. She once did a role earlier in her career that made her famous, that's similar, who was also a high school, middle school student. And if you compare her performance in this drama to the other drama that is going on at the same time on Tencent that she also leads, Yu Gu Yao fantasy drama with Xiao Zhan, Longest Promise, you really can see that when a young actress is playing a character that is more in her comfort zone, how much more at ease and how much more easy for audiences to engage with a character. I'm watching those two dramas at the same time and one drama, I totally couldn't get her character. She gets stopped in the fantasy drama. She also has really bad styling and makeup and costume. If you look at Qin Pingyue, she looks really good in a period drama, but Yu Gu Yao, that causes a problem for me to get into the story. And this one, almost no makeup, typical high school student look, yet she looks so much more livelier with energy, with that immediately you can believe character quality. And if you compare her performance in both dramas, I would also say this is definitely much more in her comfort zone, playing a contemporary character that she probably has something to anchor to. She knows what it feels like. And the character also, the type of stubborn, sometimes low pressured, not very happy, always from, but very strong young girl suits her so much better. Anyway, I enjoyed her performance in Ray of Light much more than Yu Gu Yao. As for Wang Yuan, although he's a main character, so far actually he doesn't have that much screen time and his main plot doesn't get unfolded until pretty much right now. Episode 8 and 9, we see for the first time what really is the thing with his family that made him stop for a whole year of studying and what is the thing that's holding him back. We only just found out. Probably next 20 episodes, we're going to see more of his screen time and it will be easier to gauge his performance. So far, he fits in the story pretty well. He acts in a very relaxed and natural way, but there hasn't been any really important moment to bring out the character yet. Then I also super enjoyed the presence of Dong Qing. She plays the psychiatrist in school for the kids and also for teachers. I've liked her since day one <laughs> of her, of discovering her, I think in With You, that was like 2015. She never plays super important lead roles in big dramas, but every character she plays as a supporting role in every drama I've watched leaves a strong impression on me. There's the quality that you can easily connect with her when she smiles on screen, although she doesn't have that much screen time when she shows up, the screen lights up. Then the third point, I think the most important thing is as a realism high school drama focusing on the last year, I think so far to the middle of 2023, this would be the most realistic grounded drama in this category. The other one, Yoko has aired the light-hearted flying towards you is a very romanticized story that doesn't really focus that much on the actual study part of being in high school. It's more on the youth, the chun, the happiness, the group of friends, the love. Whereas this one is really about everybody fighting against their demons and trying to win this battle called Gaokao. And it hardly has any romantic element, at least so far. If you're looking for high school romance, you probably are not gonna find much in this drama. The drama definitely gives each main and supporting character a personal hardship and difficulty that they need to overcome. And it becomes everybody's joint effort through this exam preparation period to level themselves up. That's more important than anything else. The 
the rainbow and unicorns. And I really like that type of storytelling angle. Also, there's one thing I really appreciate about this drama. As a focused on Gaokao drama, it finds a really good balance point, not preaching, not sensationalizing, not sad fishing, and not over encouraging. I have a feeling just by looking at trailer, the other drama that may come later this year, Zhang Ruoyun led, similar to this high school one teacher leading a whole class drama, will definitely go towards the more dramatized almost manga-like style that may be very exciting but you will know it is a dramatized version of reality whereas this drama is just very realistic and it walks the very fine line of not overdoing any type of things so these are all the positive points i can see from this drama and why i'm watching it daily as it updates now let's talk about what's not so perfect about this drama and i could see that this drama probably is not gonna get very popular point number one because of its real realism it doesn't really dramatize anything too much. As a drama, if you totally disregard how close it is to reality, it does sometimes feels lacks that little bit extra punch of being a drama. The type of hooking you in and making you want to check out next episode after next episode, it does lack a little bit of that energy. This is not the super exciting and having a lot of, let's say, selling point, promoting point, marketing point drama. Number two, this drama receives zero promotion from pretty much anywhere. Yoku really doesn't promote it at all. It's definitely not the money-making type that you can tell. CCTV, well, it just airs on satellite TV, depending on if people tune in and if they're interested in that. Since most of the high school students have just finished their college exam, so maybe even the young audiences wouldn't really be checking out this drama. They probably would go play video games and travel with friends and binge on web novels instead of watching a drama that reminds me of the year that they've just gone through. Also, for the other unfortunate thing about this drama is it's gonna run heading to summer slot and we have that starting now. We have a mango television drama starting pretty much today and then next week, Yoku is gonna throw out and Zhuan more than likely and after Yu Yuguya, longest promise from Tencent, they're gonna pull pretty much Changxiang Siang. I'm thinking there isn't another candidate that'll be even more suitable. We are heading into the big bloody battle of summer holiday slot of Chinese drama land. And always during this time, it's gonna be the high traffic actors, high romance, fantasy period dramas, this type of thing that gets most view and highest possibility of exploding has worked out for the last couple of years always like this. So I don't see this year being any different. In terms of competition, this drama is no comparison. It's casting, its theme, the type of drama it is, is just not gonna compete with a big IP and idol and romantic and all that stuff. You only have that much time. So this drama of its unfortunate <laughs> outlook, it probably is not gonna get any bigger than what it is now. But it's actually not a bad drama. And you know, different flowers looks like different things to different people. You may like this more than other types. And if this is the type of drama that you happen to be interested in, then it's worth checking out for a bit. At least on the day July the 5th, 2023, with all the dramas ongoing that I managed to take a look at, this is one of the better ones. That should conclude this first impression video of the drama Ray of Light, Zhui Guang De Ruzi. Thank you for watching Out New X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.